Hello guys, it's Jacob. Uh, today in this video, we're going to talk about how to train Fluxora the easy way using the Flux Gym. So that being said, let's get started. So if you go to the uh, Flux Gym, the offshore or GitHub repo, there's a lot of readme here. But um, if you look at the uh, support in models section, so a support Flux.1 and dev, Flux.1 dev 2 pro and Flux.1 channel. And also they're saying the uh, Flux uh, Gym and most people use um, Pinocchio. Uh, to train the LoRa data, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the easiest way is to use Kaggle. So that being said, let's go back to Kaggle notebook. So let's create a notebook called uh, uh, FluxStream. So uh, because uh, FluxStream is actually downloading Flux.1 dev model and Chanel model, so it's actually larger than 20 gigs. So uh, to make it work with Kaggle, so you have to switch the uh, temporary uh, the directory um, to from the working to the Kaggle temp. So make sure you done that because um, the default one is only 20 gigs. The Kaggle temp will have probably 70 gigs. So, uh, so then they can handle all these um, models, and then, and then you have to basically do a gig clone to actually clone the official Fluxim repo. After that, uh, make sure that um, you also go to the Fluxim uh, clone another repo. It's called a uh, Koya SS. So make sure um, that this is also. Um, be cloned inside the Fluxim folder. So do, this basically will run all the automation stuff. And um, then go to this SD script folder and make sure you run, uh, install all these uh, requirements or um, PIP dependencies. And then go back to the Fluxim folder and run all the installed dependencies. And, and lastly, you have to install the uh, uh, Torch Revision Torch Audio um, from CUDA. 12.1. So it's supposed to be 12.4, but um, it offered documentation says 12.1, then just use 12.1. Uh, at least this works. So um, last step is to actually uh, turn all everything uh, out uh, to a public URL using ngrok because Kiko doesn't support Gradle very well. So I use ngrok to actually expose everything inside the Kiko notebook to public. Um, and then uh, just create a function to run bash command within Python notebook and then copy and paste the uh, ngrok token um, and paste it here. I'll get it from the ngrok console. And uh, lastly, to uh, map the ngrok public URL, which is 756C, to the local uh, Gradle port, which is localhost 7860. So, and lastly, to uh, basically after all the ngrok is set up, make sure uh, you um, also uh, turn off the share from the app.py. So if you go back to the last line of this uh, Fluxion app.py, so we will see that um, basically the default share is true, but turn it to a false because we're using ngrok to expose the traffic. So, and then go to the Fluxion folder and then run uh, app.py. So this will actually split up the Fluxion. And then let's take a look. So uh, this is 7F. Uh, Succeed. This is the one we uh, spin up, right? So this is actually running right here. So uh, let's go back to the ungrok. So you can see this is actually running uh, right now. So um, so basically, let's uh, go to the uh, Gradle Web UI. So um, to actually train the LoRa, first you have to uh, create a name for the LoRa. So let's say um, just call Emilia and the trigger word is um, you can name it whatever. Uh, so we just use uh, et uh, to uh, 2655, and then you have to pick a model as well. So they have a few models you can pick from. Uh, we just use the default flux that they have. And then after that, uh, make sure the VRAM is 16 or maybe lower than 16 because you can see Kego only has 16 gigs uh, as a PN100 GPU. So make sure it's uh, lower than 16, uh, which is 16. And then the repeat train per image, the default is 10, we set to five, and then the epochs we set to 16. The total steps is 800, so each epoch will have 550 steps. And then the uh, other than that, everything is uh, generated by default. Um, so, and then the second step is to uh, add, add the data sets. So um, all the images that I demo here is from Kaggle. So just get all the sample images you want to train your LoRa. And then I just upload it. So we have uploaded 10 images. And make sure that you click the Add AI Captions. This is very important. If you don't add AI Captions, it will not work. Make sure you just click the Add AI Caption button. So this also, the description of the image will be automatically generated. So, um, so they also have a script to display everything. Um, so you can see the um, 
also the output. So after everything is done, it will be up to this folder, it's a flexion output with the name that you specified in the beginning. So which is a million ton. Right, you can see here, it's a million ton. And uh, so you can see right now, um, it's, it's training. Also, they have advanced options, but don't worry about that right now. Um, it's basically training right now. You can see um, everything is ongoing. And uh, if you um, using like eight steps, it's gonna take about five hours to train everything uh, with um, 16 epochs with all the two images. So it's about five hours roughly. And once it's all completed, it will dump the uh, SIP tensors, which is LoRa model, to this folder, so output folder. So basically, it will be in the uh, output folder, and with the Amiga Town as Laura name. So that's it. So then um, you can see basically right now it's actually uh, running for 20 minutes, uh, and then the GPU is only less than uh, 14 gigs. And then you can see the disk space is less than 40 gigs. So um, so basically that's it. So it will download everything that's needed and start training. So this is the uh, so far the easiest way to train a custom LoRa. After everything's done, get the LoRa from output folder and plug it into your config UI so you can test that out. So to see if that generate the image that you need. Um, that being said, hopefully uh, this is helpful. If you do like this video, uh, please subscribe, like or comment if you have any questions. Um, so thank you, thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, see you in the next one.